Did you know that the difference between a bad and a good day is often a few productive and healthy choices made at decisive moments? And the most decisive moment is your morning. If you make the choice to grab your phone right after you wake up and spend the first 30 minutes scrolling on your TikTok, let's be brutally honest, you're essentially giving away your morning energy, your potential and the opportunity to start your day with purpose and intent. But what if you want to make the shift from bad to good days then you should focus on mastering your morning today i'm not going to talk about reading and that you should go to the gym but three unique morning habits you should try to get ahead of 99 percent of other men so let's dive in so the first habit is that you should start walking for 15 to 30 minutes right after you're waking up I'm walking now 60 minutes a day, but the morning for me consists of a walk of 30 minutes after I'm waking up. And the way how I'm doing that is that I don't bring my phone, I don't bring other distractions as well. The only things I will bring is my house keys, myself, you know, um, but also a watch which is not connected to your phone so you can read WhatsApp messages. The park is nearby, so it's only for two minutes from here. And then I'm just walking around in the nature over here. And I don't know why, but every time when I'm in the nature and afterwards I'm going to my work, I feel the difference in energy levels compared to when I don't walk. So my energy levels are much higher when I'm doing the walk in the morning, when I don't really distract myself in the morning. And I also feel this in the work, in the focus, I am having the hours later on on my day. And the other benefit I experience with walking is to focus in the now. When I'm in the nature with myself, without my phone, I just focus on where I am in the now. And I'm not really with my head on some other external factors in my life. I'm really focusing on starting my day internal with myself. Walking the nature also gives me yeah, creative ideas. And if I'm giving you an example, this month, September 2023, I'm going to publish 10 videos this whole month. That's my intention. All those subjects about the 10 videos, I came to those ideas when I was walking in the park in the nature. So this is an example how creativity can work for you when you're doing that stuff you know but i think the most important one which really helps me through the day sometimes when i'm having a tough day is then walking in the morning already boosts my positive mind you know so going to bad habits in that sense is much harder when you're already positive in the morning because you're motivated you're feeling well you want to crush this day you know so um yeah being positive is also something which I think walking can really help you with that. The second morning habit you should try is speak out affirmations. It may sound a little bit touchy feeling for you, but doing affirmations is one of the morning habits which has the biggest impact on the rest of my day and the rest of my life. If you don't know what it is, affirmations are positive statements and phrases that people daily repeat aloud to themselves with the goal of changing their thought patterns, beliefs and behaviors. If you are someone who don't really believe in yourself, don't believe that you can be successful or has a low self-esteem, affirmations can maybe solve that problem for you. I'm just saying to myself in the mirror every morning, are you the type of person who is a real man, who gets fully responsible for the habits he is doing, is the inspirator for himself and others, get 1% better every day and got the shit together. The habits a real man should be focusing on is care about his mental health, care about his physical health, earning his own money. And maybe you're thinking, how many times do we have to do it? I'm doing it till to a moment when I start believing that I am that person. So when I'm speaking to you and saying, I'm the type of person who is a real man. When I'm saying that, I'm saying it with emotion, with feeling. Because when I'm thinking about it and when I'm speaking out to myself and I start believing it, I start smiling because I know that I am already starting to be that person, you know. So keep in mind that feeling behind this 
very important. So the biggest benefit I experienced during doing those affirmations is that I get a more optimistic view of life. I don't really focus on, you know, being on social media, watching the news, seeing all the shit in the world, you know. I'm focusing on myself. And the only person who can make a difference for that is me. So that's also the other benefit as well. It's giving you responsibility of the person who you want to become. For me, my affirmation is that I'm going to focus on taking responsibility for myself. Focusing on action. Care about my mental body. Care about my physical body. Find ways to earn my own money. And in my view, that is what a man should provide. And later on when I'm older and maybe having children, I want to take the responsibility to be a good father. Also for my wife as well then. So think about you. Who is the person who you want to be? Who is that? Where do you want to focus on? What should you do to be that person? Or what change should you make? So the last morning habit you should do to get ahead of 99% of men is to do and write down daily wins. So daily wins are that I'm writing down all the things I'm grateful for, all the small and big successes in my life in a small notebook. And in this way, I'm foster my positive motivation towards the rest of my day. Maybe you went to the gym. Maybe you did your morning routine. Maybe you went for that walk. Maybe you did the daily affirmations in your day. But you can also think about small things which give you happiness like i don't know lighting up a candle is something that is something for me which really gives me a calm mind and it sounds maybe a little bit weird for you but for me it's giving me happiness so what are the things in your life which gives you happiness maybe you say hi for the first time in your life to a stranger especially when you're introverted or something that's a big win on itself and maybe your intention was to go to the gym, but you didn't went to the gym. Maybe the intention itself that you already had to your mind that you want to go to the gym, is that not a win on itself? We don't always have to cheer up big successes. So as you see in my daily wins notebook, I'm also writing down, I am love, I am success. And that's because I'm really feeling that I am success and that I am love. I'm feeling that and when I'm aware about the situation, it gives me a positive mood you can already see it and when i were writing them down after i'm doing the affirmations and after i'm walking the benefits i experience is a fucking increase in my positive mood in the morning and a more positive mood in the morning you're more likely to do other good habits as well in the rest of your day and not a lot of people are doing this so that's why you should do that and when it's giving me a positive mood for the rest of my day it's stupid when i'm not doing that you know it's free positive energy or should i start to being on my phone and doing completely nothing and afterwards i'm like oh the last 30 minutes i was watching cat videos but uh, i didn't even learn anything or i remember the videos because is going so fast you know and you're thinking in your head like but yeah tiktok also has good things yeah sure but do that then in the afternoon or something if you have an alarm yourself you don't really need a phone for an alarm you know that's what i'm also doing and put it on the other side of the room so it's easy to get out of bed in the morning to go for that walk and after you're done with your walk and you're having an increase in your energy levels and maybe you're more creative or in more positive mood in the morning and you're doing your affirmations as well and you're being more optimistic in the morning as well and you're doing after the affirmations also the daily winch which also giving more positivity you're crushing your day man you're being one percent of the people who are doing that who are successful and you know success doesn't have to be always like earning 1 million dollars or 1 million subscribers success is a definition for yourself what is your definition of success? All right, this was the video of this week. And don't forget that everything starts for you. So take responsibility for you. All right, ciao.